write y is equal to 4x squared minus 8x minus 5 in the form y is equal to a brackets x minus h all squared plus k. Hence solve 4x squared minus 8x minus 5 is equal to 0. You, to put this into this format, you have to complete the process called completing the square. So first of all, write down the function y is equal to 4x squared minus 8x minus 5. Now, unfortunately, a is not equal to 1, it's equal to 4. So one approach is to factorize out the 4 first from here. And when you do that, you're going to get that y is equal to 4 brackets x squared minus 2x minus 5. Right, now we go back to the idea of completing the square by taking half of this number here. So half of minus 2 is minus 1. And now write down y is equal to 4. Open up the bracket x minus 1, all squared. Write down the minus 5. Now by doing this process, we've added something in. One way to do that is to expand 4 brackets x minus 1, all squared. So that's going to be 4 brackets x squared minus 2x plus 1. Multiplying through by 4, we get 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. Notice here and here, we got back to the same two things as the original function. So in doing this process here, we've added 4. Now another way to work out what you need to add in would be to do 4 times minus 1 squared which gives me plus 4. So as I've added 4 over here, I need to subtract 4. So we're going to end up with y is equal to 4, brackets x minus 1 squared minus 9. So, and that's now in the correct format, y is equal to a x minus h plus k. So h will be 1 and k will be minus 9 which means that the vertex should be at 1 minus 9. So let's just check that to see. So here's my G-algebra applet. So I'm going to move the slider for A to 4. OK, and then my B to minus 8. and then my c to minus 5. OK, and if I click here, it will reveal the vertex, the vertex here, and then we see that the vertex is at 1 minus 9. If we click here, we get completed square form. We see we've got 4x minus 1 plus minus 9, which is the same as minus 9. Again, we get the vertex 1 minus 9. Um, don't forget also there's a line of symmetry at the vertex. Okay, that you get that by doing uh, minus b over 2a. So minus b, that will be 8 over 2 times 4, which is 8. 8 over 4, 8 over 8 will give me the line x is equal to 1, which is what that one is. So the same thing applies. Right, we're now asked to find the solution. So to solve 4x squared minus 8x minus 5 is equal to 0 we will use the completed the square form. So we've got 4 brackets x minus 1 all squared minus 9 is equal to 0. First step is to do the opposite of taking 9, which is to add 9. So we get 4 brackets x minus 1 all squared is equal to 9. Then we divide by 4. So dividing by 4, we get x minus 1 all squared is equal to 9 over 4. Best to leave it as an improper fraction. The opposite of squaring is to take the square root. So taking the square root, take the square root of x minus 1 squared, you get x minus 1. And if you take the square root of 9 over 4, we get plus or minus the square root of 9 over 4. Now, the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we get either x is equal to 1 minus uh, 3 over 2, which gives me x is equal to a half, 1 minus 3 over 2. So taking the 1 over here, here and then taking 3 over 2 from it. Or x is equal to taking the 1 over 1 plus 3 over 2. That's like uh, 1 and plus 1 and a half. That's 2 and a half, which is 5 over 2. So we've got two solutions, x is minus a half, x is equal to 5 over 2. If we go to our GeoGebra Appler and click here, we can see 
the roots, okay, so we get a root of one root of x being equal to minus 0 0.5, and the other you can see is 2.5. Notice that the roots are equal distance from the line of symmetry. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find, complete the square of a quadratic where a is not equal to 1. Okay, I hope you understand, and thank you very much for watching.